What's up everyone, this is Kyle from Tech.io and I'm back with another video. So a couple days ago, I decided to bring back two monitors from the office that I've been using to get them set back up here at the house. And I figured that before I set these all up, I should probably shoot a video to show you how to set up a triple monitor workstation. So why would you need more than one monitor? Multiple monitor setups are really good for not just multitasking and productivity. Of course, it allows you to view more windows, tabs, documents, files, all at the same time, but it's also really useful for certain games. So if you're here either for productivity purposes or gaming or both, either way, this video is definitely gonna benefit you. So some of the first things you need to know about setting up a multiple monitor configuration is that you typically need more than one video output from your computer or laptop. Now, the exception to that rule is if you have a device that supports DisplayPort 1.2 with MST, multi-stream transport, that allows you to daisy chain monitors together. And in this setup, I'm actually gonna be using three monitors. And because I have a desktop with a NVIDIA GPU and it has multiple display ports out, it's quite easy for me to set up three monitors since I can run one cable per port or one cable per monitor. Now, if you just have a laptop with display port out, hopefully it's at least 1.2 or above. That way it supports the MST or multi-stream transport so that you can daisy chain monitors together. Much like this XPS 9560 that I have here, it does have a USB-C video output and it happens to be Thunderbolt 3 which as well supports MST. So if I needed to, I could actually daisy chain using a USB-C DisplayPort 1.2 cable, which would allow all these to link up together from a single plug. So depending on your monitors, there's quite a few different cable types or plug types you have. VGA, DVI, DisplayPort, HDMI, USB-C even on some of the newer monitors. So whatever the case with your actual monitor, there's probably a way to adapt to it. For example, if your monitors do not support MST, there's actual adapters that will take a single display port from your computer, which if that supports MST, it'll then split it, um, which allows you to plug in separate monitors into that adapter, and therefore it emulates an actual MST daisy chaining type scenario. Even for laptops, there's another option such as external GPU enclosures, that you can hook it directly to the system. Um, and then you can run an external graphics card inside of that box, much like you would from a desktop, but for your laptop. And that's a pretty cool solution as well. Not something I'm covering in this video. So in this setup, I'm using a 27 inch gaming monitor from Dell that is 2560 by 1440 in resolution. And I have two 24 inch monitors from Dell that are actually 1920 by 1080. And in my particular setup, that's not necessarily something that's most ideal for everyone. Typically, if you have multiple monitors, you want the resolution to match between them so that they scale applications accordingly across them when you drag from screen to screen without having scaling or sizing issues. Um, but in my case, I typically have a separate application up on the smaller screens, a primary application up in the middle, and it doesn't really tend to bother me very much. So my setup is not really meant or geared towards gaming while the setup and configuration is the same no matter what purpose is. For others out there that are interested in doing it for gaming, you can also benefit from the full surround peripheral view whenever you're running you know, two or even three monitors uh, to where you can get a wider field of view in the games you're playing, much like flight simulators, race car games, first person shooters, you name it. There's really no limit to the games that you can run on there as long as that game does support you know, combined resolution across those monitors. And that always depends on the game that you're running. So you always have to kind of check or even just test it and see what happens. Most games these days do support the wider, um, you know, spanned resolution across those monitors. So it's typically not an issue to run into. So for this setup, the 27 inch gaming monitor that I'm using now will actually come off of its stand that was included. And it'll go on to a different stand that I purchased that supports holding all three monitors. So this is the stand that will replace the one on the 27 inch. So then there is this crazy long arm that attaches to the new monitor stand. And with this, 
each monitor can sit on its own bracket. And this also allows the monitors to kind of float up off the desk because you only have the one stand holding up all three monitors. Now, this is not something that you have to have. Most monitors usually come with a stand, but the U2417HAs, the 24 inches that I have, actually only came with uh, desk mount arms versus actual stand. So I had to mount those anyway. Otherwise, I'd probably try and get away with just using the built-in stands that they would come with. So for hooking up the monitors, depending on what plugs they have, and if your system does support MST, you can typically use either VGA, DVI, HDMI, or display port, and sometimes a USB-C cable depending on your monitor. Um, with all that being said, to daisy chain, you have to use display port or USB-C to display port, um, as long as the cables um, support 1.2, as long as the port from your graphics card or your computer supports MST, then you're good to go. And the way that works is from the graphics card or the system, they'll run a display port into the first monitor, which would be the display port in. And if that monitor has a display port out, you run a cable from there to the next monitor and so on and so forth. So in this setup, I could run MST at least on the first two monitors and run a separate cable only to the 27 inch gaming monitor. Even though this one does not have a display port out, some monitors will still support being the last monitor in that chain, even though it's not compatible with MST. I've seen it work both ways, but it's a hit or miss. So it's sometimes hard to rely on that. So each monitor is going to get at least one power cable and a display port cable. Now for the 24 inch monitors, since I'll be running MST, I will actually be able to use the display port to mini display port. And the same cable, same functionality, but this one just happens to be smaller. That's typically found on laptops, for example, but it's also found on desktop GPUs. So now that I've gotten all of that out of the way, I have to rearrange a little bit. So that means that I have to move the desktop down on the ground so that I can free up all the space so there will be room for all three monitors and the stand. So let's make it happen. So the bracket on this monitor is a little bit loose. So I had to take it back off of the arm to tighten this, this bolt on side of the pivot joint here itself so that when I put it back on there, it'll stay in position and won't want to rotate or kind of fall out of position on its own. While I had this off of the bracket, I wanted to show you just real quick the cable configuration. We have the power cable, obviously, and then we have the display port cable right here coming from the computer itself. And then on this side, we have the display port coming from this monitor to the other 24 inch. So the two 24 inches are daisy chained together, whereas the 27 inch gaming monitor has its own display port cable going straight to the computer. So now that all the displays are hooked up, I was able to actually go into 
the display's menu settings itself to enable the MST option, which is again that multi-stream transport that allows you to daisy chain cables between monitors. And again, what I have here set up is one cable going from the computer itself over here on the side, runs to the gaming monitor, the 27 inch in the middle, and then I have a separate DisplayPort 1.2 cable going from the computer to the first 24 inch monitor on the right, and then another DisplayPort cable from this one on the output going to this monitor's input. And so effectively that allows the computer to understand that there are three monitors connected to the system. One of the next things that I have to do now that you can see the desktop on all screens, they aren't quite organized just as yet. So if I took an application window and drag between one monitor to the next, it should go from the first one or second one to the third one and back again if I wanted to. But when you plug in monitors to your computer for the first time in a multi-monitor setup, it doesn't know which way you physically have them set up on your desk or workstation, so you have to configure that so it knows where they are placed. So for example, if I was gonna drag from here to here, that kind of works, right? But if I wanna come back from here to this monitor, it's probably not gonna work. Well, it thinks that this monitor is on this side of the workstation. So if I keep going, it ends up popping up over on this side. But that's not what we want. I'm gonna let go of this. I'm gonna go into the display settings by right clicking on the desktop itself. And then you'll get in Windows 10, you'll get this display topology layout. And it's really easy, you can actually drag these monitors between one another and even on the height setting if you want to as well. So one of the things you can do to make this easier to figure out is you click on the identify button and it'll pop up the number for each display and then you can easily drag them into place and then hit apply and it should allow you to fix the dragging problem. So in most instances, the resolution will probably be detected for each monitor automatically. However, if you need to change that, now is a good time to set that inside the settings while you're reorganizing. And that's it. So now that I have three monitors connected all together, that allows me to view more windows all at one time and improve your productivity, multitasking ability. All in all, it makes it a little more enjoyable to work on the computer because you're not having to switch between applications as often, allowing you to focus more on what you're doing versus jumping between different applications. And last but not least, the monitors along with a stand and a couple other suggested accessories or options that you can go with, I will have links for down below in the description. And if you have any questions or comments, definitely leave those in below, or you can go to techio.com and drop me a note there. If you have any suggestions for a video or anything that you'd like to see, definitely shoot it my way. And if you found this video helpful, be sure to subscribe or share, and I will see you in the next video.